what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be lake martin practice today is saturday the day before practice starts we, we just got checked in the house we got beautiful lake martin right there getting the phoenix all cleaned up dried out it rained on me a little bit yesterday gonna get everything rigged up get all these favorite rods rigged up get everything dialed in get ready to go start practice bright and early in the morning heading to meet the pros tonight I'm gonna try and bring you guys along and uh, see what that's all about but if not we'll see you in the morning for practice Well, it's go time. Practice starts for stop number three on the pro circuit here at Lake Martin. Just a few minutes. Got a long drive to the boat ramp. It is right there down the road. We got a little ramp right here at the house we're staying at, so we're just gonna dump in the boats here. May even leave them in throughout practice. That way we don't have to put on the trailer every night. We got electric down on the dock. We can just pull in, dock, plug in, charge up our batteries, everything, be good to go. Ready to get this day going. You guys are coming along all day. Hopefully we can find some big old spotted bass, maybe a big old largemouth or two, and figure out the puzzle here on Lake Martin. This is going to be a tough one. There's a lot of moving pieces here. There's a lot of things going on. Well, I think there's going to be a lot of things going on. There's going to be a lot of strategy involved. Do I go for largemouth? Do I go for spotted bass? Do, what do I do first? What do I do? So a lot of strategy going into this week. I'm going to have to go figure out the puzzle and uh, get a good game plan together for the event starts on Thursday. So stay tuned. We can start at 622. It's go time. Largey come to play. Probably a two pounder. Still nothing to write home about.
that's the kind we're after there, boys. Well, guys, let's give you a little day one update here so far. I have caught a bunch of fish. Only a couple decent ones. One nice big spot, probably about a three and a half. A couple around the two pound range, a bunch of little like 13, 14 inches. I went and looked for some beds. I saw a big one, female trying to spawn. A couple decent sized males, but they were pretty hard to catch. So I'm not sure what's up with that, if they've just been pressured or what the deal is. It's kind of hard to see today, so I'm going to try and keep figuring out the spotted bass here today. See if I can dial that in a little bit more and uh, pick up on the spawning largemouth later in the week. Probably Tuesday. Focus on that. And if I find any on beds Tuesday, they should still be there by Thursday anyway. But. I like to have a safety blanket of a nice spotted bass pattern to come catch at least 10 pounds or so and uh, you know salvage some good points. So that's the plan the rest of the day. Hopefully we can find some. Well, let's see. It's a six o'clock update here. The day's almost over. We only got another hour or so. Kind of moved the back up lake closer to the house spend the last hour in here see if I can duplicate that pattern up this way spend most of my time down lake today so I'm just gonna see if I can duplicate that pattern up here or if it's a section of the lake where that's going on today was decent I would take what I caught today both days of the event get my check and get out of here probably had close to 13 pounds <clears throat> mostly spots maybe one large mouth mixed in there found a few nice ones on beds but they're a little tricky to get the bite and I'm not really a sight fisherman so maybe have to revisit that again later but we'll see for now I'm gonna try and dial in these spots and get a consistent bag together and then try and figure out how to catch a big one sorry there hasn't been much footage today guys I've been focused and trying to find them. Let's go get something done here in this last hour. Well guys, that's a wrap on day number one. Made it here to the gas station. Fill up on some fuel. Then I gotta make a stop at Dollar General. Gotta get an interesting item. Maybe you guys will know what it's for. I'm gonna come along in there. Good morning, it's day number two of practice. Beautiful morning here in Alabama. Time to find some big old spotted bass. See if we can't dial that in a little bit more this morning till that sun gets up. Then we're gonna go figure out that big old large mile. It's gonna be a fun day, let's go.
can't take me anywhere with these things, then I'm gonna find them. a big one there and you go back it doesn't mean you're gonna catch another big one. Hey yo, what do I got here man? Oh my what? I got big old large ones. What are you doing? I was in between docks, I just threw my wacky leg out here at the bank. Yeah. How big is it? Four and a half. Oh, There's like a little drain there. I caught my best one. Probably my biggest one yesterday. The same exact thing. And the little drain? It wasn't a little drain. Yeah. A little bit tiny. Like tiny. Like. Yeah. I couldn't see. Like a bed. Right. It actually was.
guys, a little afternoon update, day two. Today's been a lot tougher on me. Got a few small ones, you know, nothing I would want to weigh in. I caught one nice large mop. That's pretty much it. Now, I didn't really fish anything I fished yesterday. I've been kind of looking for different stuff, but so far, not good. I did just catch us some dinner though. Can't get me away from them stripers. I love them things. They seem to love me too. Let's see if we can't go find some bass. Let's find some big old spotted bass out here. There's a little better spot, guys. Since there's so many of them about the same size, I've been trying to weigh them to get an idea of how big they actually are. So this one This one goes 191. Just under a two pounder. So fat and healthy. Unfortunately, we're gonna need to catch them a little bit bigger here this week. We're gonna need at least two pounders. So nice fish, but not what we're looking for. Well guys, it's starting to get dark on us. We got about a half hour or so left. So one more pocket, I'm gonna run around with a buzz bait. See if we can't find old big head largemouth right before it gets dark. It's been a pretty tough day on me, so I'm not sure what to expect. But give her a few more minutes, get prepped for day number three. Well guys, that's a wrap on day number two of practice. I'm just gonna leave the boat in the water overnight. We got some electric right here off the dock. I'm just gonna plug in, charge up. Boat's already ready to roll in the morning. Today wasn't very good, so gotta figure them out tomorrow. Stay tuned. Well, here it is. It's the final day of practice here. For Lake Martin. It's go time. Let's see if we can't find a couple bass today. Yesterday was kind of tough. First day was alright. 
Got to find some more like I caught the first day. Lots of things going on. We may be starting tomorrow now, Wednesday. Who knows? Got this whole coronavirus thing going on. It's Don't even get me started. It's a big joke. So, don't know what's going on yet. All I know is I got to figure out how to catch the biggest bass possible. Whether it's tomorrow, whether it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know, but I got to do it. Let's figure it out. Well guys, here's a little afternoon update of practice. I'm back at the house. Apparently my batteries didn't charge last night. You know, I left it in the water and I guess the breaker tripped in the middle of the night. It was charging when I plugged in and I did not check this morning. <coughs> Rookie mistake, always check and make sure your batteries are charged in the morning. Mine obviously weren't, completely dead, lost all power. So come back here. Plugged in about an hour ago. Gonna get a little bit of a charge. I did some tackle, got ready. The event starts tomorrow now, so we don't have an off day. So tried to get prepared a little bit and uh, I'm gonna let the batteries charge for another half hour or so. Go grab a little snack out of the house, and get back out for the last couple hours. Minor hiccup, but we're still good shape. Got plenty of time. Check up with you soon. guys that's a wrap on practice <coughs> appreciate you guys following along this video thanks again for watching i appreciate you if you made it to the end of this video give me a thumbs up what are you doing appreciate you watching stay tuned for the tournament video starts tomorrow not sure what to expect on this one could be good could be bad it's all in the big man's hands at this point so let's see what it brings See you guys next time.